Now here's something that I use a lot, which is making a new layer from um, a copy of a layer. So here's my layers palette and I will load my selection again on that ship. So I've got marching ants and I'm going to go the long way up to do this through the menus and then I'll talk about the shortcuts. So I want to make a copy of this ship on top of the ship. So I'm going to go to layer new and I have two choices that I'm interested in here. Um, new layer via copy and new layer via cut. And take a look at those shortcuts. We've got um, command J and shift command J for the cut. So I'm going to do new layer via copy from the selection that I have in my image. And you'll see that right over here in the layers palette, if I turn off the background, what I got is a copy and the checkerboards are representing transparency. So that means it's completely clear there and I've just got the ship sitting there. When the background's on, it doesn't look like I have a second layer because they're right on top of each other. So I'm going over here to get the move tool and I'm checking to see that auto select is on so that when I click on the ship, I'll be able to move it. And I want auto select for layer because I don't have any groups yet. And this thing, show transform controls, some people like that. Um, I don't like it. It actually kind of gets in my way. So I keep that off. And now if I click in the image and drag, you'll see that I've made a copy layer here of the ship. Now I can use the shortcut. Let's go back up to that menu, new layer via copy. Now that I have that ship on a transparency, as you can see in my top layer right here, I can just keep copying it. So if I hit Command J, Command J, and look at my layers here, I'm getting multiples. Now what's happening is they're all on top of each other. So as I move them, and you can see that my auto select is helping me out here. So I'm getting separate copies, each one on another layer. I find that I use this a lot if Actually, let me get rid of that. I'm going to go back in time through the history. I find that I use that a lot if I just have a background and I use Command J just to make a second image. So just to make a copy of the background, Command J, and you've got immediately have a background copy so you're not working on the background. Okay, so now I want to show you Command Shift J, which if you look in the layer new, new layer via cut. Now I don't use this as often, but there are times where I want to cut out a portion of the image so that I can contain it on a totally separate layer, deal with it, even though it will remain in the same place, deal with it as a separate layer. So I'm going to use the shortcut for that, which is command shift and the letter J and Note that I have a selection, so it's going to cut the selection. And you see something quite different. If I turn off this layer, you'll see the background is showing through. So I just have a white square there. And then if I switch it, I've got the ship on a separate layer. So then I can do all sorts of things to the ship. I could actually, you know, go do an adjustment even like a color. All this, I have the hiccups from this ship. It's starting to get to me. So sorry about that. Um, so I can do an adjustment just to that layer by just going image adjust. Let's say hue and saturation and maybe I'll colorize it. So be, even though it looks like it's still part of the background, it basic I can basically treat it as a separate entity. So that's the interesting thing about new layer via cut versus new layer via copy. And you'll notice um, it's grayed out because I have nothing selected at this point. So you'll find that really handy for the next assignment.